Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, you guys. I'm just here for a really brief video, one of gratitude, one of reflection. A lot of you, especially those who have been following my channel, probably saw the video that I put out just a few weeks ago where I um, was just reflecting on what it means to be a medical student, graduating and becoming a doctor in the age of COVID, in the age of a global pandemic. Doctors and nurses are being asked to wear bandanas to protect themselves. And med schools are graduating med students early to join the workforce. So that video was in a lot of ways a reflection on um, everything that's going on. I'm processing through so many emotions, including excitement, um, going to my dream program, just so much excitement around that. Meanwhile, a lot of anxiety and a lot of fear. Not only am I starting residency, becoming a physician, I'm starting emergency medicine residency, which a lot of you probably know is the very front lines. It's basically the front door of the hospital. And so really just full exposure, undifferentiated, just seeing things as they come in, in their raw form. If you follow the news, you see there's all of the shortages of personal protective equipment and just people having to really change their lives in really significant ways, not being able to see their families, not being able to hug loved ones, not being able to have funerals. There's just so much going on. And so this is a really wild time to be um, entering the physician workforce. But also at the same time, feeling really grateful that I am able to fulfill my purpose in this really significant way. So I made that video and you know, it's funny because when I put out these YouTube videos, I've been so grateful um, because it's been a, a slow build, but I already feel so much love from you guys as viewers and from this community as it's growing little by little every week. Um, and so obviously I get these messages, I read your comments and everything about people who are resonating with it. But some sometimes this little voice in my head is like, is anybody even really watching this? Or am I kind of talking into the wind? And even if I'm talking into the wind, I'm still grateful even for the platform because there's just so much um, to be said. And there's, I think there's still um, a lot of value in the reflections that I'm able to make regardless. But this particular video, I, after I posted this video, I got an email from a reporter at Time Magazine. This was a health policy reporter, which is exactly the realm of what I'm personally interested in. And I got an email from her and she was basically saying, hey, I saw your video. I feel like you could be a really important voice in this article that I'm writing about the experience of medical students graduating during a pandemic. And I was like, <laughs> Like, ah, it was so surreal. I was just like sitting with my mom and I was like, mommy, I just got an email from somebody at Time Magazine who wants to hear from me. She was so nice. We had a phone interview and she just asked me really just simple questions like, how are you feeling? What is the process like? And we talked for a long time. Obviously graduating during a pandemic has all of these other things that are happening. Like my graduation is canceled. My match day was canceled, but some of you guys saw the way that I was able to make the best of it. In the article, it was amazing to read because there were so many perspectives given from people who are graduating medical students like me, and some of them have already graduated. In the final read, you just get kind of like a little snippet of what we talked about, but it was just really such a privilege to be able to reflect on all of the significance of what is happening and what this all means. I'm new to kind of building this sort of platform, but I think what I'm learning and what this experience taught me is that if I use my authentic voice, if I'm just honest, if I allow myself to be open and genuinely reflective about the things that I'm feeling and experiencing, um, people will listen. It doesn't have to be the whole world, but the right person will hear the message and it can lead to these really unexpected, really phenomenal surprises. And so the opportunity to be interviewed for this was just such an honor for me. Um, I really didn't 
I never could have imagined that something like this would happen, but um, I'm just, I'm so grateful. Um, I'm grateful to you guys that watch my videos and I'm so excited about the places that we're going to go. For those of you who are not part of this community, part of the subscriber community, join. I would love for you guys to enrich this community because we are just getting started and we have so much more to go. There's going to be a lot of content about my life as a medical student and kind of the path that I've taken. My life as a graduate student doing um, health policy, doing a master's in public policy. And then really soon my life as a doctor. Uh, I actually just yesterday had a, a phone chat with the people, the leadership, and my um, co-interns at my residency program, and I'm so excited. Everybody is so nice, so down to earth, really excited about the work that we're all going to be doing, and I just, I am so fortunate to be in the program I'm in. Um, and even with all the fear and the uncertainty that's happening right now, I already get a really good sense that I will be in a space where I feel protected and I feel like my voice can be heard. Just thrive in the way that I want to thrive and that's all I can ask for. That is all I can ask for. So I am so grateful. Thank you guys all for your support and your love in this process and I look forward to all that there is to come and I will see you guys next time.